About 185,000 people have enrolled in Healthier SG so far, with an average of about 3,000 signing up daily now, said Health Minister Ong Yi Kang. Three out of every four enrolled so far are above the age of 60, while the rest are aged 40 to 59. The minister was giving an update to the media on the Healthier SG program on the sidelines of the Healthier SG Roadshow at Kembang Admiralty on Sunday. The national initiative by the Ministry of Health was launched in July and aims to get family doctors to help individuals take charge of their health. Those enrolled will work with their family doctors to come up with a health plan that includes lifestyle changes and regular checkups. Those who sign up with Healthier SG can get free nationally recommended health screenings and vaccinations like flu shots. Mr. Ong said the enrollment numbers were not too bad at all and added that it was an encouraging start. He said that since July, about 500,000 SMSs have been sent out, inviting seniors and those with chronic conditions to participate in the scheme. He also said that enrollments from general practitioner GP clinics account for half of all who have signed up. So GPs have been very active. When patients come to their clinics, they actually persuade them, explain to them and enroll them, he said. Another 30% of the total enrolled are self-enrolled, people who are probably more digitally savvy. And the remainder are done by our partners, our SG Silver Generation Ambassadors, reaching out to the seniors and getting them enrolled. Mr. Ong said about 1,200 GPs are eligible to be part of the Healthier SG initiative. And so far, about 950 have signed up. He said, so this is about 5 in 6 GPs, which I think is not bad at all. The ministry will continue to work with the remaining ones to try to address the various reasons why they have not joined. As well as address IT and other issues, he said. Mr. Ong said that while there has been strong support from GPs, there are those who have given feedback pertaining to administrative processes that will need to be worked on. He added that this was a long-term partnership and that it can work, as demonstrated, during the COVID-19 pandemic. Asked about SG ambassadors, Mr. Ong said that while the main purpose of the ambassadors is to get seniors to enroll in the scheme, there is also another important aspect which is to get seniors to be part of the community. The more important purpose is to persuade them to get out of their house and be part of the community social circle. He said, What we are very worried about is loneliness among seniors, especially if they live alone. If you live alone and you're lonely, your health will deteriorate. He said this was apparent during the pandemic. With many seniors who were very active before suddenly hiding at home, because they were afraid. And when they came back out after Singapore lowered the disease outbreak response system condition DOSCON to green in February 2023, many of these seniors appeared to have deteriorated. Mr. Ong said this is why Singapore needs an aged care system that is about engaging lonely seniors. So we need to do more things that will attract them, the seniors the uncles to come out. So this is one major area of priority, he said. But this is work in progress.